Okay, in this one, let's animate this text. So I'm going to, now, I've uh, shown a few of this on screen. I don't remember if I've said it in a video. If I want to extend multiple layers, so if I go to 96, when I click <clears throat> on an empty frame, I could press F5. So if I press F5, this layer is now got two seconds and almost two and a half seconds of stage time. But my background has 1 24th of a second of stage time. So that's why some of you are going, well, my stuff is disappearing. Your layers have to be the same length of time in your timeline if you want to see them. So I could click here, press F5, or I can click and drag to highlight two at the same time, press F5. So I want to extend this to four seconds. Now that I've extended it to four seconds, I'm going to drag this uh, scroll bar along the bottom, and I'm actually going to go to 10 seconds. So let's go to 10 seconds. So 240 frames. Click to highlight and press F5 so it's 10 seconds in length. So the reason why we're going to do 10 seconds in length is we're going to just have our name fade in. So sometimes if you want to have, I'll click on our text, and there's only so much we can do with this static text. If I want to have this fade in and fade out and kind of have it on this loop, well, I need to actually make this a movie clip. I could make it a graphic as well, but for right now we'll just keep it simple. I will make this a movie clip. And I'm going to go with text. Maybe I'll put name just in case. I'll click OK. So now that it is a movie clip, I've got an option here where I could right click, create a motion tween, maybe at about two seconds. At two seconds, see, I've got my, I've got this layer, it's highlighted. But if I want to put in a keyframe, so a keyframe is a moment in time. So when I put in a keyframe, that's the way that this appears at that moment in the animation. So if I press F6, it puts in a keyframe for me. And then let's scrub ahead. We'll go to maybe nine seconds. And my playhead is here. If I press F6, it puts in another keyframe. So at nine seconds, let's just click on our movie clip. Okay, so it's a movie clip now. It, I can't change my name. I can't add anything to it. If I want to do that, I would have to edit the movie clip, which I'm not ready to do just at the moment. So I've selected this. I have no option to change this here. But in our properties, we've got a lot of different options. If you twirl open the filters, we can add different types of filters to this. We could have a color effect. We could make it brighten, we could make it fade out. So under color effect, let's go to alpha. So here at nine seconds, we're going to have the color go from 100% visibility to zero. So we can see here that by the time it gets to nine, it's fading out. Now, I don't want it to fade out. It's going to fade out like really slowly. It's just going to get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. So instead, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to keep it at 100%. But here, I'm going to press F6. And now I'm going to change the alpha here. So now the fade out only happens between 9 seconds and 10. Okay, I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to do the same thing here. So at 1 second, I'm going to press F6. It is at 100% here. 
at ones uh, or one the first frame I'm going to select this change the alpha to zero so when I scrub through it fades in we're watching it fades out so I've got this keyframe now at two seconds I don't really need anymore if I hover over top of it my cursor changes so I could actually click on this specific keyframe and I could move it around now I clicked and highlighted the entire thing and moved it. So I'll just control Z. So I just highlighted the one keyframe. I could move it around to a different time. I could right click and I could clear the keyframe. So now it's disappeared. So I've got fade in, fade out. Now, I want to have a few stars like falling through this animation. So we've looked at the oval tool, we looked at the rectangle tool, the one poly star, it's got kind of a weird name. We select it. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to select the poly star. Over my properties, I'm going to just select like a yellow or gold. If I click and drag, instead of a circle, oval, oval, or rectangle, or square, it's creating a polygon. Okay, so I'm just going to undo. Here, I've got tool options. I select this, a polygon with five sides. If I want to change that, and I go eight sides, click OK, and I click and drag. Now I've got a shape, a polygon with eight sides. Undo. If I click on options and I move from polygon to star, I can select OK. So now I've got these like explosions, maybe. Undo. So let's select, we'll create a star with five sides. And we will click. And drag. Now, if I click, I can drag and then I can move the star around. Right now, I'm just going to make one like perfect star. It's just straight up and down here. If I want to hold down shift, it'll let me turn it like 45 degrees. So I'm just going to go with a star here. I'm going to select the previous one. Hit delete. I select this star. I press F8. I'm going to call it star. Now it's a movie clip. So I've got this star and it is going to fall through my scene. Now it's moving a little bit to the side, so I'm just going to undo. I'm going to click while holding shift so I'm dragging it straight down so before three seconds this star is going to fall through okay so I'm going to call this star one star underscore one I'm going to actually highlight this control C because I'm going to do this a bunch of times I'm going to create a new layer now I'm going to go to my library. This star exists in my library, so I don't have to create it another time. Just drag it out onto the pasteboard. Control V, make this two. Right click, motion tween. Now I can make this star I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to make the star fall. But I'm going to press F6 right here. And then I'm actually going to have the star fall. F6. Shift. Drag down. Control Enter. So now the star is falling at a different time. New layer. If I put all of these stars on one layer, I can't move them all separately. 
So I drag this star out onto the stage. What I could also do is I could go to my free transform and I can hold down shift, make the star smaller. Right click, create a motion tween. Maybe I want this star to fall, start falling here. Press F6. F6. To put in my other keyframe. Shift, drag it through. Now this is happening a little bit quicker. The, the time in between these two keyframes is shorter. So we're watching this. We've got one star as that one's falling. Another one's falling in the background. It's a different size, so it almost looks like it's off in the distance. The speed of it is quicker. If I want to go back and I want to edit this star, remember, okay, I'm going to lock all my layers. Now I'm working on this layer. I hide it for a second just to make sure, okay, this is the one I want. Unlock it. If I go here, and then I select this star, and then I change the size of it, or maybe let's do it right here. So I change the size of the star. I changed it in a previous keyframe, so when it gets here, it's back to the same size that it was when I first put in this keyframe. So you just want to be mindful of that. Like if you're changing the size of a shape or, sorry, a movie clip instance, um, depending on when you put in the keyframe, so now it's actually, it looks like it's coming towards us, like it's growing. So if that's not what I want, go back here, I'll select clear keyframe. Okay, I cleared all the keyframes. So here I might have the star at the beginning. I changed the size of it. F6. This is when it's going to start to fall, but then it's going to fall like slowly. So there's a distance between these keyframes. Hold down shift, drag, control enter. So I'm going to have some of these stars fall in front of my name. Some of these stars fall behind my name. So right now I can move my name in between these. So I drag that layer up. So I have that first star falling. Well, I don't really like it because this first star is falling behind my name, but the one in the distance is falling in front of it. So it doesn't really make sense that way. So I'm going to move my name back. And star 2 or 3 is off in the distance. So I'm actually going to grab that layer, drag it below my name, control enter. So this one's falling in front of my name. That one's falling off in the distance. So it gives my animation some depth. Um, and it's going to, my name is going to fade in, fade out. This is going to loop. I'm going to add 15 stars. Okay, so you don't make 15. You're actually dragging out your stars. Create a new layer. Pull up the star. The size of it you can change. The time or the speed. I want you to have varying speeds varying sizes um, just so that we get a little bit of practice doing that quickly i'm going to go to uh, file actually just hold on okay just quickly because i'm running out of uh, time here with this uh, recording i'm gonna go to file convert to html5 canvas so when i do that it's going to create a new document for me Now when I go control enter, it is actually, um, instead of just pulling up that window, it is going to bring up my browser and I've got my HTML5 animation.